OK, well, welcome back. At this point, let's take a step back and have a look at a summary, take a look at the statewide swing so far and where that's falling. And at the moment, we can say that there's a swing of at least 4.4 per cent against the government. And look at that, dead heat on the two-party preferred basis, Anthony. Yeah, and at this stage, it may actually be the swing towards 6 per cent. We now, just to clarify, we have been having some communications problems and haven't been able to update, get any figures from the Electoral Commission for the last 15 minutes. And we're trying to re-establish a link at the moment which is, means that our figures are actually a little bit behind, which is uh, one of those really frustrating things on election night yes. is that just when you want the figures, you stop getting them. So uh, we're trying to re-establish that link at the moment. So those figures are unfortunately a little bit behind. But um, just switching to another source, at this stage, the Labor Party's on 33% overall. The Liberals are on 37 and the Nationals are down to 11 as that vote progresses. Now, what I can't tell you is the two party preferred from those figures. I'm not sure where that, that source is from. But hopefully in the next few minutes, we'll get an update and a better handle on what's actually happening. I wasn't aware that we'd stopped receiving updates. OK, but at four points, how, how's it looking there? Uh, well, this is, this is quite out of date. Unfortunately, again, this is, this is out of date. But Carlo Carley, has th uh, he's a retiring member, and Jane Garrett is the new, new candidate. So um, on these figures, let me have a look here. What we're seeing is Jane Garrett's 393, Cindy Dawson 383, 36.6%. Those, that's a very low vote. Phil Clear is fourth with 8.9%. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, later figures there. At this stage, it's in doubt. We can't call that result. And Thanks very much, Ian. Now, um, power privatisation is not an issue in this particular election, but uh, power outages sure, surely are in our broadcast. We're having a whole lot of troubles tonight with power. Uh, also, I'm afraid, with our um, internet connections, I think, I think, I think as well. I, I think we can safely say <laughs> that when I next meet management at the ABC, this will be the last tally room we attend. <laughs> because the, we are utterly reliant now on internet connections. And we have lost an internet connection through the ABC system, and so therefore we have no connection to anything coming to us. So, um, if anyone wants to know why in future they don't see us in the tally room, tonight is the reason why. We are too reliant now. I know people, people always whinge at me because I say how terrible tally rooms are. You cannot do a broadcast of an election these days without technology. Now, the reason there is a tally room at this election was because a lot of MPs in the state parliament insisted there must be one. The, 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 the Electoral Commission, the ABC... Name, name three, Anthony. Well, they're I'm, on the Parliamentary I'm, I'm Electoral of, Committee. Well, so, anyway. We are having some problems wanted. at the moment, and this we is what the problem is, and we'll right. see what we can get we'll, soon. We'll see what we, how we can push through in the meantime. Uh, do bear with us, because it is our great pleasure to be with you this evening. And also, I don't know if this has got anything to do with the, uh, the power challenges, but that moving board that you can see behind me, that is actually now uh, a digitised and an automated uh, board that you see, rather than you might see up in Canberra from time to time where the tally room board is manually changed. It's now that digitally changing one, which is why we have this kaleidoscope happening behind me. Um, I don't know, maybe there's questions to be asked about where all the power has been going and why it's not coming to us. We, we power, might seem to be, power might seem to be leaning towards you, though, yeah. David Davis, I think, in a political sense. Uh, hopefully yep. we'll get the internet back. And uh, let's see if it's fallen, Anthony. I wasn't expecting that. All right. Well, we, I've only got two booths. We've finally got some com communications back. It must be very disappointing that it hasn't come about. Uh, can I issue a thanks to the, the Electoral Commission, who's done a good job tonight. I was having some crankiness earlier. It wasn't at the Electoral Commission. It wasn't at Eddie Head Stadium. It was to do with some issues here on our own set, which are, are an argument we've had in the ABC for a number of years. So apologies if anyone misunderstood that. Uh, it was our fault. It wasn't the Electoral Commission. The Electoral Commission do a very good job and they've got a very tough job ahead for the next few days. Indeed, and uh, you uh, also pulled that technical problem together wonderfully for us in the end as well. Ian Henderson, great to do business with you. Indeed. Thanks so much. And